Hello Evo 456 fans, my name is Aaron with Club 456. I'm here just to talk today about uh, some of the rare parts that you have on the front of a Evo 4 GSR and an Evo 4 RS. If you're going to be importing an Evolution 4, or for that matter even an Evolution 5 or 6, you're going to want to take a good look and see whether it's complete, especially the front end. Some of the parts are a little bit hard to get, and the issue with some of the parts up front is that when you decide that you want to order from Japan and you want to ship those parts, they're extremely big and it'll cost you a lot of money to get them over here. So taking a look at the front of the car, on uh, Evolution 4 RS, the expensive parts are going to be the fog light blanks. So these blanks are not covers. They actually replace the entire light itself. So this is uh, one that I have as a spare. And you can see that from the back, it attaches where the brackets for the old fog lights would attach. And it eliminates the entire assembly. If you do see uh, any Evolution 4, whether that's a GSR or an RS, and it has these fog light blanks, uh, don't be fooled. There's no fog light underneath there. Depending on what you want, if you appreciate this look, then this is an added bonus to your GSR. If you don't like the look and you're expecting that you're gonna take a cover off and have fog lights, then you're gonna get burnt on that. Choose wisely. Another important feature on the Evolution 4s is the lip. So when you're ordering your car from your favorite importer and you see the lip, make sure it's in good working order. By working order, I mean actually attached to the car. I've seen cars come through auction with chunks missing, with just the wing portions of the lips fastened to the bumper. Normally if this lip is going to go it's fairly fragile and what actually ends up happening is if you get it caught on something it will crease the bottom of the intercooler so you'll see a lot of uh, evolution fours have some pretty prominent lines that are bent into the uh, bottom rail of the intercooler that's actually from the lip getting hit on a curb and bending under and putting those creases in these lips are fairly hard to get. There used to be a few aftermarket suppliers, but that supply is long since dried out. For shipping, they're actually fairly handy to ship because these are a three-piece lip. You can see by the crease here in the front that they actually come apart. So if you're gonna be shipping a lip from your favorite aftermarket supplier in Japan, this is actually a bargain compared to the five and the six. The five and the six are a one-piece lip, and you'll pay a lot of money to have that shipped. Another thing you want to look into for the uh, Evolution 4, 5, 6 is the condition of the fog lamps. So the fog lamps are made by PIA, PIAA, and the aftermarket versions are widely available, but if you want a, a real PIA fog light, they're going to be really expensive. If you're taking a look at a car on an auction or you have an importer that can go down and personally inspect the car, You'd want to take a look and see whether these fog lamps are in good shape. They're very, very easy to crack. They have a big flat face and driving on the highway, any sort of rock or debris is probably going to break the lens. The other things that you'd want to take a look at when you're shopping for your car is the condition of the headlights. There are a lot of aftermarket versions of these headlights, but the uh, Mitsubishi ones seem to be uh, pretty few and far between. You'll see that the lens ends up being discolored from the sun and from the elements and it'll turn a yellow sort of color. You can use a kit from uh, your favorite aftermarket supplier to uh, polish them, but that doesn't always work effectively and you end up having to do it at least once a year to keep them looking decent. For these lights in particular, especially the Evolution 4s, there are quite a few variants online through eBay and a bunch of aftermarket suppliers where you can get blacked out ones or clear ones. So there's, there's quite a few choices out there. Uh, moving on to the last thing on the front, I've noticed a lot of uh, Evolution 4s, 5s and 6s have the uh, Mitsubishi symbol missing off the front. These are actually still available through Mitsubishi. They are in probably short supply by now, 
however, they are still available. They range in price wildly. There's some listed for almost $200. If you get lucky, the dealer price in Japan is around $20 to $40. Uh, that'll be in yen, so $2,500 to $4,500 yen. The badges are eventually going to run out. There used to be a supply of the fog light blanks, and they ran out about 2015 from the suppliers and the price skyrocketed. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more JDM EVO related videos, subscribe to our channel. For the most up-to-date news about Club 456, visit our Instagram or Facebook. Links in the description below. Also, check out our website at club456.ca for more JDM content and technical articles. See you soon!